Hello guys and welcome to my first keyboard review. The guys from Retech sent me 4 keyboards, 2 mini keyboards and 2 full sized keyboards. And today I will review the mini keyboards. But first don't forget to enter my first giveaway item, a Broadlink RM Mini 3. The winner will be announced in a few days, so hurry up! This is the RE K12 Ultra Slim keyboard, a full keyboard with on the right side a mousepad. And this is the RE Mini i8. But we're gonna unbox the K12 Ultra Slim first. Thank you Retech for adding a thanks card in the package. The user manual with some information. And finally the keyboard itself. My first impression, the keyboard feels solid. And it's small, but not that small. I must definitely learn how to type on this size of keyboards. Because my full sized daily driver keyboard is over 14 years old. And still 100% working. This is the trackpad. Tap on it with one finger and it will do a left mouse click. Tap on the pad with two fingers and it will do a right mouse click. You will find the RF USB receiver on the back of the keyboard. I almost forgot the USB cable. You can use this cable to charge the keyboard and use it on the same time. The cable also have a female USB slot for the radio frequency receiver. And this is what's inside the Mini i8 package. The same USB cable that came with the K12 keyboard. And this is the i8, a keyboard for your Kodi Android box, Raspberry Pi or HD PC. It feels like more a remote controller than a keyboard. And of course a built-in trackpad. And you will find the RF receiver on the back of this keyboard. And on the top the on-off switch and the USB charging port. And the two last things of the package, the re thanks card and the user manual. I will test both keyboards in combination with my Raspberry Pi 3 with OSMC Kodi on it and with my Nextbox A3. Click on the top right corner for my review of the Nextbox. And let's start with the Raspberry Pi. Switch the keyboard on and we are ready to go. The blue LED tells us everything is ok. The mouse is moving slowly and I need to swipe a lot over the mousepad to move the pointer. I can't find the option in Kodi to make the mouse movement quicker. But luckily for us, you don't need a mouse pointer in Kodi. Everything can be managed with the keyboard. The keys are responsive and the travel distance of the keys is low. There are keyboard buttons for the left and right mouse click. And this will make life sometimes a bit easier. Some function keys also have actually a real function. F1 till F6 does nothing. F7 will bring you to the Kodi config page. F8, 9 and 10 are for backwards, pause and forward. F11, 12 and the insert key are volume keys. The i8 keyboard, this is my favorite one for Kodi. Grab it in one hand and navigate through the menus with one finger. On the left side some volume keys, the dedicated mouse click left and right, Kodi config key. Basically this keyboard have all the same functions as the K12 keyboard. The mousepad is slow, the same as on the K12. Let's see if there are any difference on the Android box. And this is my Nextbox A3 Android box. The mouse movement on Android is perfect. I'm glad to see it was a Kodi problem and not a keyboard problem. Double tap and swipe is also working. Now let's try the F keys. F7 will open the Android music player. I'm sure there will be Android apps to bind functions to every F key. F9 till 11 will change the volume. The RE K12 is a good quality mini keyboard and the mousepad works perfect. It's also possible to use this keyboard as your daily driver on your desktop or laptop. But I need to make a few hours before I press the right buttons every time with my big fingers. And the last question, how does the i8 perform on the Android box? I can be very short, perfect. Navigation with the arrow keys, good mouse movement with the trackpad and the ability to scroll pages if you swipe with two fingers over your mousepad. And if you want to stop with what you are doing, just click the home button to return to the main screen. Typing is also a breeze. Use two hands and it feels like a game controller. 
Yes, okay guys, this is the end of my review. I will make another review of two re keyboards in a few weeks. Click on the button to subscribe on my channel and I see you next time. Bye bye.